Hey, how's it going, you guys? Sam from Taco here, back with another unboxing. This time, doing Wise Man's Grandchild, the limited edition, straight from the Funimation. It looks like it has a ton of extra, as you see art cards, bookmarks, fabric posters. Here's the top down view, the side view, and here's all the back stuff. This is going to come off, and it's, I mean, that's on the back of the cardboard, but this kind of shows what's going to be inside. Here's all the technical info for anybody who cares about that kind of stuff. I know there's some people out there who do. So let's go ahead and open this up. So it is normally $84.98, but it's usually, I think I got it on sale for $64.99, so it's not as bad as you would think. Uh, get this out of the way right now. I only remember Shin and Merlin. I do not remember the name of either of the other two people. So like I was saying, this just kind of falls right off. That's pretty standard for limited editions. That's stuck on there with some sort of a uh, little glue. That is, it's pretty standard. So let's go straight into the goodies. We do dessert before dinner here. So let's hop in and see what we got for the extras and then we'll open up the meat and potatoes afterwards. So we should have a pretty sweet fabric poster. Oh, right there. Art cards, bookmarks, fabric poster. The box does not lie. So let's go ahead, let's see the fabric poster first because that's probably gonna be the sweetest thing that's in here. Uh, I gotta say, you know, one thing I did like about this anime that you can see with the fabric poster here is that the main character actually ends up with a girl. They don't like pussyfoot around it and like, oh yeah, they're pretty much together, but they haven't said feelings for each other. You know, we don't wanna ruin the other ships. We don't wanna make people mad. They're just like, ah, fuck it. Yeah, they're together. Oh, Sicilian. Okay, we're learning the names. Shin, yeah, see. August, okay. And Maria, very easy to remember. I was gonna get that eventually. All right, then we have the art cards. This kind of looks like this might be their design because I think this started off as a light novel. So this looks like that could probably be their design for the light novel, unless they got maybe different artists to do the art cards, which would be pretty cool and unique since usually the art cards are pretty close to what they look like in the anime. So let's see. We got Shin and I already forgot her name. I see right there, Cicelyn. August and Maria. Uh, see, I'm learning. The two main bad guys. The front cover on an art card. Oh, the alternate, that's with all the other kids. It'd be kind of cool if you could connect the two and would make like a big piece of art, but I guess not. Here's what's on the back. They all have the same thing on the back. Pretty cool art cards, they're pretty nice. I mean, art cards are pretty standard. You know what you're gonna get with them and these are quality nonetheless. So the big draw for this limited edition is that it comes with a light novel slash manga. So this is it here, limited edition art book. Let's see, yep. So I was kind of second guessing myself here, but character setting, opening and ending animation, light novel, illustration, and then a manga. So you kind of get all of that. So I'm gonna flip through a little bit. If you guys want a more in detail look for it, you know, of course, buy it, support the anime or the light novel if you like it yourself. I thought it was pretty mediocre, TBH. But uh, let's go through. I really liked Merlin. I like Merlin and uh, the chick that he's, you know, he's kind of hitting up, whose name I just flew right by. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's like water or something got in there. Dude, my run on these limited editions recently have been so shit. It's like almost everyone I've got has had some sort of like crazy defect on it. That's wild, man. All right, well, not that big of a loss. Uh, keep moving through. We're looking at all the art designs for all the characters. Pretty cool. This anime, if I could describe it, uh, check out our in-depth review if you guys want to see more of my thoughts on this. But this is about as mediocre and uh, average as a anime could get. Like, if you wanted to hit all the generic tones, this, this one does it perfectly. Absolutely perfectly. Oh, commission sketch by Funimation. So Funimation had that commission. That's pretty cool. So they get that done by a lot of people. Commission final art. That's cool. And then here's the manga. The manga reads right to left. This is the end. So then if we want to see, we got to go all the way to this side. And I'll flip through this, of course, as well, so you guys can see. I'm obviously not going to spend too much time on it, because if you want to read it, you know, buy it yourself. See what's good. Exclusive manga just for the limited edition. It doesn't look like much happens, you know, judging from how short it is. So I wouldn't really worry about missing anything related to the story. So let's go and check the actual disc. And if you guys want to see what was on the back, there is that for you guys. So it does look like it's just the other side of the art card. And then we have their designs again, where they look slightly different from how they're represented inside the anime. So I'm really going to guess that these are probably light novel designs. Is there anything on the side? Same old, same old. Open it up. All right. So we have the disc here, and it's got the episodes on the inside cover. So you can kind of see what's on what. And that's going to be your disc one. That's Blu-ray one, Blu-ray two. And then you got your DVDs on the end here, starting with Merlin, and then DVD 2 right there. And once again, it looks like the special features are only on the Blu-ray. That seems to be becoming a standard. So if you only have a DVD player, that's something to be aware of. 
Okay, that is everything in there. As with always, guys, we're going to be putting up the digital code on our Twitter. So be sure to follow us on the Twitter at the Otaku. It'll probably be put up when we put the video or maybe slightly after that. So if you want the digital code you're for yourself, this will go ahead and be up on Twitter and that'll be up for grabs. And if you don't care about that, thanks for watching. We do appreciate it. This has been Sam from Otaku. If you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe. We do unboxings for, I mean, pretty much anything cool that we could grab. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe out there and I hope to see you guys next time.